Hello guys and welcome back to the channel and in today's episode we will be taking a closer look as to what in was to fill into this area. I'm sorry about the snow by the way, it just started. Oh well. So in today's episode we'll be building this uh, particular building up. I'm not sure yet if we're going to build this one up but that will just have to wait and see. But before we get into this and all of the items that I've gathered here off camera, uh, oh yeah, I've also done some more off camera work. So you may see that this was really bad time with the snow, but <laughs> I've been spamming torches all around in the mountains, which should be shown a little better when it's night time. And over here, as you might see, there are now windows up there, and you might see something inside there. So let's go up and have a little look as to what I've done up here. Okay. So I've added a little balcony in the back section here, and some interior on the inside. A small little kitchen area, a couch. And a staircase up, which leads to two villagers. We have our first citizens of this town. That aren't in like a cage or in forced to be in a trading hall. So we let me introduce you. We have James, James the monocle guy. And we have Jamie the bookworm. So my friend uh, actually... Help me name this guy and together we found out a suiting name for the other one so i wanted to have like a librarian villager and james the Mlocker guy obviously have to be the cartographer and it suits him well to just sit up in the tower and just do his charting and while jamie the bookworm just can read and stuff so yeah we have those two up here i probably add a little carpet and fix the light lighting a little better but yeah, that's just... I, I like this at least. And I can't unfortunately add that much out here because then they will be able to jump over the fence gates. And I don't want that, it's pretty far down. I also took and dug out this chunk because it kept spawning iron golems all over this cliffside. So to make the farm more efficient, I just dug out all this and I'll terraform it in another time. But okay, I think it's just time to start off uh, the video by building up this house. So why don't we just get started right now? And there we go. We now finished the building and I did some off camera work because I wanted to just do the interior and then show you guys when I'm done with that and just take a full house tour. So right up the front there we have a small little wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow. I don't remember the complete name, but that's the same same. And we have like a little board outside the bakery place. And this is everything that he sells. So a bucket, and if you just ho hover over them, it says all the different prices for the different things. And in the front here, we have a little shopping place. So you can actually come up here and just say what you want. Ring the bell to get him here. Yeah, and you have a little cake for showcase, and here are all the different ingredients. Well, not ingredients, but the thing he sells. I will do some terraforming because this right now looks pretty awful, but it is how it is. And right in the front here, oh yeah, I also tamed a little cat during the little build, so we have we have him him now. A little armor stand, and also I love this flooring. 
since all of these are just a bunch of barrels facing the wrong way and it gives like a more textured spruce look as if you compare it to this and to that and I really like this as flooring and I also want to morph or like blend in the kitchen floor with the normal floor so we have like a mixture of the both and I think this kitchen design is just really cute and it got all the different ingredients and everything here. I also like these little shelves. Not shelves. Uh, I don't remember the name. Same same. Drawers. That's the name. Uh, so yeah. We just have some small decorations here. I haven't quite filled up these zones. Because I don't see the need to. Right. And we have the small little place here. We can cook all the stuff that we need to. And then it's time for the upstairs. So up here, I've been decorating this place quite a lot and I am happy with the final design. So, and I really love this little corner that we actually sneak in a painting behind candles and a potted plant. And I also like the bedroom because you can just switch this on and off. And the village is going to be sleeping here. He has his little writing place right over here. And yeah, a little place you can eat. And I am really happy about this. And I think this build turned out to be really good. I have designed a few more buildings in creative. And as you might have seen, because I sped up the time lapse quite a bit, I struggled so much because I had laid out the wrong thing with Nedrak around it. So I had to look completely on the picture a lot, like a lot more closely. And yeah, I was struggling a lot, but I think it turned out well. So, you know what? Why don't we just get started get gathering the materials? I'll do that off camera because it's not the fun to watch. And we'll build up this big place. I'm really excited about this build. And I think it's just gonna look super good. So yeah, then we'll jump right into that. Okay, I just finished a big chunk of the building. I'm not done yet. As you can see, I'm missing some key details into this build. But I think it's funnier or more efficient to just uh, do that off camera and come back to you guys when that is done. So that is what I will do. Okay, there we go. I've now finished decorating this bar barn. Uh, and... I'm really happy how this entire place turned out. And I have like a small little stable section here. That I yet haven't filled in with different type of horses. I'm thinking like one or two horses and like maybe one mule. So that is something we'll have to do. I also love this part where I have this elevator. That can just lift up hay. And we can store it up here in the attic. Oh yeah that's one... Thing I forgot to do and that's actually to fill in this so it doesn't just have like a weird gap here and I'm really happy about how the inside turned out as well so right after that we go straight in here have a little storage of more hay and a little wood and I really like this part so right here we have some small little places for the chickens to lay eggs and here are the chickens, since they can go inside and out, however they please. We have four little chickens in there. And then, when we enter this place, this is where the farmers will live. Oh yeah, that's one more thing we need to do, we need to make them like a field where they can harvest stuff. And here we have like a small little kitchen area, with a small little couch where they can eat their meals. If we go up this staircase, they'll have their bed right here. 
and a small little storage area, some books. And if we go up here, we have like a, a cozy little section right here, like a crafting section here where they can store a wheelbarrow for some reason. And yeah, in this house, I'm thinking there's going to be living two farmers. And one of their workbenches is actually this wheelbarrow. And the other, <laughs> for funny reason, is just this pot. But it is two composers, so they're going to stay inside this house with their beds. That's at least the plan. So yeah. Just, we need to be fully, fully... What's the name? We need to know that no other mobs can spawn in this area. That is 100% proof. And I think it is. I haven't seen a zombie in a really long time. Except like over the hills over there. But like that's so far away it won't spawn when we are around in this area. Like I am going to build like a huge wall around the entire mountain. Like a kind of castle type of thing. I'm not doing that just yet. So I'm thinking should I fill all these different houses now with the villagers so they can just wander around? Or, hmm. The answer to that question is yes. So, I have gotten myself two names here. I don't know what to name the farmers just yet, so that will probably come in the next episode. Um, but I've gotten two names here, and that is Jack Smith the Blacksmith and Jimmy Breadsticks. So, for Jimmy Breadsticks, we're gonna put that for the Baker Man, and then Jack Smith the Blacksmith are obviously gonna live in the Blacksmith. So, yeah, let's just push this button, take one villager out, just trade with him. Come on, man, you wanna become blacksmith? Okay, I'm gonna make all of these villagers have professions and then I'm gonna move them and then I'll show you. Okay. I've gotten all of the different types of villagers that I'm going to be using in this little city. So let's name them. Here we have Jack Smith the Blacksmith. And here we got Jimmy Breadsticks. Okay, so the only thing that we need to do now is to move them into the individual places. So why not start with Jack Smith the Blacksmith? Oh wait, no, 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 you're not... Okay, this is gonna be a more painful process than I thought. Yeah, we need to sleep first before we do this. Are you gonna come outside if I do this? Yeah. That's the only way we're going to be moving, moving these people. We could have also used minecarts, but... In my opinion, that's just more annoying way to do it. I hope he's not gonna favorite that bed up there ex over that one. So just in case, I'll destroy that bed. Let's see, I don't think it will have anything to say. It is a pretty efficient way to on moving villagers, and you can just pick up the block and place it where you want. There we go. Now, hopefully, he actually finds this place to be his place. I don't know where he's going now, but... I'm gonna move the rest of these villagers off camera. Okay, so I am trying to move these villagers. The, the, that guy, the baker, he was fine. He gladly moved into his house. But these farmers are just... AFK. Like literally, they're just AFK. Like, like look. I punch them and nothing happens. They just stand here. <laughs> I have never had this happen to me before, so I don't know what to do with this. Should I just push them into the house and just force them to stay? And then they can just stand in random places at the house? Like, I kind of wanted them to actually live and go around, but... Um... 
Yeah, I don't know. I think I'll just push him in. But yeah, I think that's a good time to end the episode. So if you enjoyed today's content, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of my content. And I'll catch you in the next one. So bye bye.